welcome to another full day of food. Uh, today for breakfast, we are having oatmeal with raisins. We have milk out for our oatmeal and um, brown sugar. <laughs> I can't think of words this morning. Uh, we are out of apple juice and so we're just doing water in our cups, but that is breakfast. It is about nine o'clock now and I am just having my breakfast. This is the smoothie that I have every day. It has um, almond milk, cottage cheese, berries, and vanilla protein powder in it. Yes, I have this every day. No, I don't get tired of it. That's just what I have for breakfast every day is a smoothie. Now onto my morning coffee with cream. I'm just about to get lunch together and today we're having leftovers for lunch. So I'm sorry, I don't have any great meal ideas to share with you for today's lunch, but we do need to eat up our leftovers. So typically once or twice a week, well, usually once a week we'll have a leftovers for dinner night. Um, and then sometimes we need to have another lunch of leftovers as well. So that's what we're doing today. We're heating up a bunch of leftovers. Here's what we've got. So I am gonna have some leftover taco salad. So in here, I've just got some lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, it's not very much, so I got out another head of lettuce and a tomato as well. I will chop those up. And then I have my taco meat here. I also have in the fridge, see how full my fridge is right now? In the fridge, I have this container, which is leftover of salsa and sour cream. I think I will also grate some cheese. I'm gonna have like a full taco salad here for lunch. And then I also have, okay, organizing all my stuff here. I have some leftover broccoli. And then the other night I made chicken enchiladas, which were delicious. And so I just have a little bit of leftover chicken enchiladas. It doesn't look as delicious sitting there cold, but believe me, it's delicious. And then in here I have some of the leftover like enchilada toppings and some rice. I also have some leftover tortillas. So I don't know if I'm just gonna warm this up and the kids will just eat it like that. I think some of them would prefer it on a wrap. And then I also just had one left of this non-bread too. So I figured I would warm that up as well. And that can be like dipped in this or I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and start warming some of this up. But my goodness, getting all of these containers out of the fridge uh, feels really good. Okay, here's everyone's lunch. I think everybody will be happy. So the younger ones have the chicken enchiladas. Um, some of this non-bread kind of divided the broccoli between everybody. The older two had that rice mixture and I just put it into a tortilla. And then there is my taco salad. And everyone's already eating their non-bread. So These hungry. kids look, I know, I am so hungry too. The kids were just playing outside. I see those nice rosy cheeks. And we are just um, drinking water with our lunch. On to my second coffee. making a butternut squash, what else is in it? Butternut squash and bean soup in the Instant Pot for supper. I'm following a vegan recipe, but I definitely wanna add meat, so I'm gonna add some beef. So right now I've just got to saute my beef, my onions, my peppers, uh, and some garlic, add some spices, and then I am going to pressure cook it. beef, onions, and peppers are all cooked through. So I'm gonna add black beans, butternut squash, and all this stuff. Beef broth, garlic, some spices. 
All of my ingredients are in here now, at least everything I need in here for the time being. I have a couple things to add right at the end, but for now I've got my squash, my beans, my beef, a whole bunch of spices and beef broth. So I'm just gonna give this a little stir. So now my lid is going on, make sure it is sealing, and then we'll go onto manual and go for four minutes. We're done the pressure cook. It has sat there for 10 minutes after as well. So I'm just gonna move this out from the cupboard because I am going to release all of this pressure. I'm just gonna take my lid off now. You might get steamed up in a second here. I just wanna make sure that everything is cooked through. Oh yes, it definitely is. All right, so I have some spinach I'm gonna add. I chopped up a whole bunch. Can you see it back there? There's a whole bunch. Some pretty dishes too. A whole bunch of spinach. So I don't know if I'm gonna add quite all of it. I will start by maybe adding about half of it and stir that in. Whoops, see how that looks. It's so hard to know how much to add because it just wilts and like shrinks in size drastically. I keep touching the edge of this bowl, but it's very hot. And I'm also going to add um, some milk. Like I said, my recipe was vegan, so no, it didn't say milk. It said coconut milk, <laughs> but I've just got some cow's milk here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna add all the spinach. I think we can use more than that. Lots of veggies. Spinach is such a great way to get lots of veggies. I was gonna say into the kids, but into all of us. Now the very last ingredient it said to add is some lemon juice. So I'm just gonna squirt a couple tablespoons or so of lemon juice and I'm gonna put that lid back on. I probably should taste it too to see if I should be adding any more spices. This looks really good though. This is a first time recipe for me. Dinner is ready but it's not even close to dinner time. Uh, we're gonna be heading out the door for gymnastics in just a few minutes. So we're gonna eat in like three hours. I've just left this on warm. So the setting it is at is really just uh, the same as being on slow cook, like a crock pot. So it'll stay warm here until we get home. The milk and spinach both weren't supposed to be added till like the end, but I added it now and it's gonna stay warm and hopefully, hopefully it's still as good in three hours as it is right now. I tasted it so good. Uh, I thought it needed a little bit more salt and pepper and just a little more spice too. We like a lot of spice around here, so I did add a bit of chili powder. I will put the link to this recipe down in the description box if you want to try it yourself. We're gonna have some yogurts here before we head out, have our waters all ready to go, and then I also just am going to bring along for us to snack on while we wait for a late supper. Um, I made these banana oat raisin muffins yesterday, so that will be our afternoon snack because dinner won't be till like 6.30 tonight. Here's our soup, three hours later. <laughs> It looks so good. It's definitely more like pureed from sitting there for so long, but it looks so good. I also wanted to show you this coffee I've been sipping for the past couple of hours. That's my last coffee of the day. Um, and then I got these out of the freezer. I had made these a previous day, and so that's just nice and easy to pull out to go with our soup. And I know that won't be enough for everybody, so I also got some crackers. And that is our dinner. Are you hungry? You don't think the soup looks good. Zara Noel, it will be delicious. Everything's settled down for the evening. The kids are in bed and I am just pouring myself a peppermint tea. Can you even see that? It's dark in here. I like to finish my evenings off with a nice warm tea. So I'm gonna close the video here. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed getting some different meal ideas and I'll see you next time.